So that definitely brought back the melanin to my skin. welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video I did a full face of essence products and before you guys come for me I know this is in the States it's in Alta so these are pretty much affordable products that I would recommend beginners to get I did pretty much a full face of essence I didn't pay no more than $15 for each individual products the lowest was like about two dollars so if you are new in the makeup game and just want to pack up on some makeup to really start achieving makeup looks this is the brand for you I had a little breakdown a little meltdown in the middle of the whole process that you guys will see um, but other than that how everything came together I am not mad um, and for the prices the makeup is actually pretty good in my humble opinion if you guys are interested in how I achieved this look then just right, consider. so I started off with my lips that's the only thing I have on right now and of course it is essence so I applied the essence shine 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 wet look lip gloss and this is in the clear one I did pick up another it's kind of like a rose gold shimmer this I'm going to use towards the end um, but I did apply this just to pretty much moisturize my lips so skincare is out of the way we're gonna start off by doing our eyebrows so I do have the essence micro precise eyebrow pencil I have mine in the shade dark brown I do have a brow gel that I thought I picked up but I didn't and I like to do like I like to do my brows and shape them in place before I fill them in but I thought I picked it up but I didn't um, so we're just going to pretty much just fill in the brows so all of these products are super affordable if you are a beginner in makeup I would definitely recommend this brand and I've done my research guys this brand is in the States it's an Ulta if you are living in the States it's super affordable so if you are new to makeup and kind of just want to gather a whole bunch of things to be able to do a full face this is the video for you because I'm about to do a full face of essence makeup for you guys so we're starting off with the brows and I really like this pencil it reminds me of the NYX micro brow pencil just because it is considered a micro pencil so if you guys do um, like the NYX eyebrow pencil you will love this and this was only like two bucks two bucks <laughs> you can't go wrong with this okay so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows I'm gonna clean it up with the essence camouflage matte concealer this is in dark caramel this shade to me kind of resembles my LA girl concealer in fawn so if you are looking for something similar in that shade by essence this would be it um, so I'm just gonna use this to shape up my brows Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. So this concealer definitely isn't full coverage. I feel like even going in just with another layer because I feel like it's not the it's not the fullest coverage. So and I like to go in with full coverage under my brows just to conceal the ingrown hairs that are coming in so I'm just gonna add a bit more so for the top I got the essence camouflage concealer in dark mocha um, and we're just gonna use this to conceal the top portion
This concealer is a red undertone for sure. So if you are a yellow undertone like me um, and you're looking for something to just conceal with, I wouldn't. Okay, this brows one. are done. We're gonna move on to eyes. We're gonna do eyeshadow today. So I'm gonna take the same concealer that I used for my bottom brows and just conceal my eyelids. Let me bring you guys closer. I always do this. Okay, so we're gonna conceal the lids. All right, so I picked up the Essence Daily Dose of Energy eyeshadow palette. Um, I like this palette just because it looks pretty summery and I really like this gold shade in the middle and this orange shade here. Um, I don't have a look in mind, so we're pretty much going to wing it today. So let's see what I come up with. All right, so for my transition color, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's like a peachy salmon color, I would say. Um, and we're just gonna put that in the crease. This doesn't have a mirror. I was literally about to look in <laughs> the mirror, so let me grab one. Well, this is pretty. I was having a bit of doubts. This is not bad for like a $10 eyeshadow palette. It is not bad. All right, so for my crease color, I'm gonna go in with this deep brown shade. I love this type of shade for the crease. It really just gives dimension and kind of smokes out the eye look. Um, so I'm just gonna focus this on my outer V. By now, all of you guys should be an eyeshadow pro. There's no way you guys are not learning <laughs> from me. There's no way. Let me know if you guys have seen improvement in the way you apply eyeshadow ever since you've watched me. Let me know in the comments. I wanna know. Okay, so we're gonna dip into this orange shade like I showed you guys. I really like this shade. This is what made me pick up this palette. So I'm going to see if I could apply this without um, any type of primer or concealer for it to stick on because I know some cheap eyeshadows they're kind of difficult to pack on so I'm gonna see if I could apply it without having to put any concealer or anything I'm just gonna use a flat brush to apply it okay come through not bad guys it's not bad I do have to kind of dab it in though and kind of pack it in, pack it on but it is pretty pigmented so it looks orange in the palette but now it's looking like really yellow I don't like that <laughs> I don't like that because I thought it was orange but it's super yellow to me at least but it's all good, the look is, isn't bad. I'm gonna dip back into that deep brown shade and just kind of blend the edges here. I kind of wanna brighten up the inner corner, so I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade and just pack it on in the inner corner. I'm gonna take a smaller detailer brush just so I could really get in there. Alright guys, so that should be it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do liner. This is probably going to be the only product that is in essence. It is still affordable though. The e.l.f. eyeliner. This is the only eyeliner I have. I forgot to pick up a liquid eyeliner from Essence. I did pick up their Kajal liner to put in your waterline. So I'm gonna do this. This is the only thing, I promise. Um, and then put on my lashes and then we'll work on complexion. Alright sis, lashes are on. We're going to move on to complexion. So as you guys know, I like to do primer. Um, 
I already had this in my stash way before and I actually did a video on this um, product. It is the Essence Skin Perfector Tinted Primer. So I'm gonna use this as a primer. It is tinted so maybe I could skip, skip the concealing step by priming and concealing in one with this product. So I'm just gonna apply this in my T-zone and just anywhere where I do have discoloration. Underneath my eyes and around my mouth. So I'm literally just using my hand to pretty much blend it out. And it does, like I said, conceal at the same time. This is honestly a perfect product for those of you who just wanna leave the house and not do much. You're priming your skin as well as concealing at the same time. Like I said, I did do a video on this product already. Look at that, it literally just concealed everything. So I could go in with my foundation now. Or you could wear this as a foundation. All right, so the foundation I picked up is called the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This is hydrating, so those of you who are oily skin, um, you may not like this. If you have dry skin, you will love this. But we are gonna use it for the sake of this video. I don't know if this is my match guys it was the last shade before another one and the other one was way too dark for me so and the other one under this one was way too light so we're gonna see how this works I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and already I could see this may not be it for me I'm gonna try not to use too much um, and I'm gonna use my sponge it's damp and wet and we're just going to blend this in And I don't need to use much because I did go in with that primer, which is perfect because less is always more. You guys know I like a natural finish. I love when my, my makeup just looks natural. Look at this guys, you could see it in the, in the camera that it's probably not my shade. It looks like it does oxidize, get a bit darker after a while, which is a plus. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my concealer again and highlight. And then we're just gonna blend it out. So like I said, with this concealer, it's super, it's not as full coverage. So if you do want a more full coverage look, you can obviously go in with another layer. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. That foundation though, I feel kind of really threw off this whole look, like I was doing really good. I'm gonna see if any of the powders that I have and anything could really bring this look back. So let me just continue because I'm really kind of thrown off now. Everything was going fine until I put that foundation on. And I always feel like with brands, foundation is like always that one thing that it's like they never, it's just so hard. Unless you're black, like cater to black people. It's just so hard to find something that will work. What is going on? <laughs> this is looking crazy. All right, so I picked up the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. So these are the shades in the palette. I'm looking to set my highlight areas with this one. Is it this one? Actually, I'll probably go with this one to be safe. I'm looking to con um, powder, con powder my whole face with this one and then contour with this one. So let's just see if this will help my situation here. So I'm gonna see. take this brush just to set my highlighted areas. All right, so for my all over powder, I'm gonna go in with this one here and adjust a big fluffy brush. Okay. 
This is definitely helping. This is definitely helping. Now we are talking. Now we are talking. Yes. Yes, girl. No more. No more ghostly. I'm literally putting this all over. We need that complexion to really come back. This product here is a is a plus for dark skin. For sure. This this is a plus. So that definitely brought back the melanin to my skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of bronze or contour. I'm gonna take this deep shade here. I thought this look was gonna go downhill. I really did. That powder really saved this look, for sure. Like, it really saved this look. Just gonna go ahead and contour out my nose. All right, so we're gonna move back on to the eyes. I'm gonna take the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and just put this in my waterline. Wow, this is very dark. That is really, this is good. This is like only $2. This literally just glided on and it's very I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna go in with the brown shade and a pencil, a pencil eyeshadow brush and just brush it along my bottom lashes. Oh my gosh, I don't think I picked up an Essence mascara. Sorry y'all, we were almost there. We were almost 100% Essence. I forgot to pick up a mascara. So we are going to use another affordable mascara. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. And I'm just gonna apply this to my top and bottom lashes. Perfect. Okay, I didn't get any blush, but we're gonna dip into the eyeshadow palette because there's no rules to makeup. You can literally do what you want. So I'm gonna dip into this shade here and use it as my blush. Brush of color back into my complexion. All right, so for highlight, I took up the Pure Nude Highlighter Palette by Essence. So these are the shades we are looking at. These don't look, the camera doesn't look like it's picking up the colors. But these two here at the bottom are more of like gold bronze shade. This is like a yellow and this is like a rose gold pink. Um, I'm gonna go in with the gold just to add some yellow back to my complexion and just really have that glowy finish. Oh, that's pretty. I'm actually not mad at Essence. The only, only, only thing is that foundation. But everything else is pretty good for the price. Nothing I used on my face was over $15. All right guys, so the last product is obviously the lips. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I picked up the Shine 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 Wet Look Lip Gloss. This one is in Bright On number six. And we're just going to finish up the look with some gloss. This is very pretty. Essence, I am not mad at you. I am not mad at you. You came through. This, this, we had a little fallout in the beginning. You know, I was kind of, I was a kind of skeptic in the process, but you really came through.